Hello, welcome. My name is Jonathan Ringer, and today I'm going to talk about building a Nix package using a makefile like build. Um, this is the common default for Nix packages, and so you'll see that from our previous video, we were able to minimize the amount of code that we're able to express through Nix and use a lot of smart defaults. So uh, let's review what we did from the last episode, which is uh, that we built a very simple C package by using a standard div.make derivation and then just uh, defining uh, two major phases. So our build phase, which build it, built our a.out, out, as well as the install phase, which then took the a.out out and then put it on the Nix store path. So uh, the main changes that I did t this time is that I included a make file. This is very similar to, to something that you would see in most GNU projects, and you will see that there is a prefix defined here. This would be the install prefix, and then a bin directory, which um, can also be defined as well. And so here we just have it defined as taking our prefix that was defined uh, at this line, and then adding a bin directory to it. Uh, if you're not familiar with the structure of make files, the first target. Uh, targets are defined by this key here and then a colon uh, will be the default target and in this case we will be defining all. All will be relying on build and build will be relying on a.out. a.out will be uh, relying on a main.c. Uh, by default a target if it has a dependency on a particular item. If that item is not defined in a later target, then that means that it relates to a file. So for example here, uh, this the reason for naming this a.out is that it's saying that the file a.out relies on the file in dot, uh, main.c. And to produce the a.out, we can run this command gcc main.c. And then likewise, the install target, if we were to do make install, uh, relies on build as well. And after the build, we are able to uh, then copy the a.out out into the uh, specific bin directory as part of the install process. And so you can see that this is, has almost a one-to-one -one correlation to our default.nix. So if we go back to what our old default.nix looks like, uh, this has mostly just been transcribed to the uh, a.out out target, and then this has been transcribed to the install target. So if uh, we were to make our new make file, uh, we can start from what we did last time to our new default.nix. So when we open up our default.nix, we can now uh, just get rid of the build phase because this is by default what happens. Make will just say make all. Uh, and so then by default, we get this for free. And then with the install phase, uh, we don't need to call the phase directly and say that uh, these are the steps needed by the default phase. Instead, what we could do is we can just define a few things for the make script. And so then one of the attributes that you can set is called make flags. And this can take an array of uh, flags for uh, you to pass to the make scripts. And here we can define prefix to then be defined as the out env var uh, or environment variable. So what it out is defined in like the shell environment scope, uh, we can then pass as the prefix uh, when calling the make commands. So in our case, uh, if we were to do nix build and default uh, nix here, you can see that this looks like a very similar build process to what we had last time, which makes sense uh, since the underlying commands are doing the same thing. Uh, we create the derivation file. Uh, it will be doing an store of our test directory. You can see that the hash here is different from the previous video. That's because the contents of our uh, current working directory has uh, changed. And so then this has also changed to reflect that. Um, there's still no configure step. Uh, Build flags, this is a new one though. Uh, we can see that by defining a make flag, it now prints this out as part of our uh, output when we're building our package, uh, as well as it's reflected in our install flags. Um, the difference between the two is that this will be calling the, the make build command, um, but our make build command as defined by our make file doesn't make use of our prefix, and so then it's largely discarded. Uh, however, the install flag does. Um, and so then in this case, 
the prefix uh, then gets set to what out is defined in, in the build scope. And this will be related to this hash here. So Nix has determined what our output hash has um, been, depending on our dependencies and also our current working directory and all the inputs that uh, go into the derivation. And so that at this path, that's uh, where you shall and store stuff. And so then uh, the make script is then able to receive that as part of the prefix and then install, uh, create the bin directory and then install our executable at the hello path. Um, then um, normal packaging um, continues from there, like stripping out the debug commands and so on and so forth. Uh, and now we can see that if we go to our result bin.out, we will get something that we got similar. Um, and yeah, so if your particular project that you're trying to package uh, or your own project that you're trying to package uh, makes use of a make file, then Nix gives you a lot of uh, kind of expressivity for free where you're able to make a relatively concise Nix expression uh, to then build your package here. Uh, like if we really wanted to uh, minimize this for lines of code, we can make this into something like this. And then this is all that you would need for you to build your expression. Uh, much better than our previous expression, which was a little bit longer winded. Um, but yeah, so um, stay tuned for more videos as I'll be covering more build toolchains.